Hello everybody, this is Source Codex here. Another music video. I know some of my recent view videos I uploaded had nothing to do with music at all, but I just felt like doing it. But here is kind of a public service announcement. How to find ultra rare out of print, never released on CD, music you love via the internet and other ways. Okay, number one, I have done this several times and it has worked. Contact the artist directly if they are still alive. The excellent drummer Chad Wackerman has several releases out that are very hard to find and if you do find them they're ungodly expensive. So I emailed Chad I said hey I'm looking for Legs 11 and your most recent release from 2012 and uh he had both of them, new, still in shrink wrap, sold them to me, shipped them to me, 20 bucks each. We did it over the internet completely using PayPal. And it was great. I was very satisfied with that. Okay, the next technique that I use is I go to YouTube and search for the piece of music I'm looking for. So let's say you're looking for Koichi Yabori of Fragile Fame. His solo album, Guess Where I Am. Well, I uploaded this song for folks to know how great that release is. And I probably shared about 15 emails with Koichi, but he couldn't find any to sell me. So I simply gave up. Now let's imagine the whole release were on YouTube, which it was not. But let's say you find my upload here with uh, one song from the video and uh, you'd like to have it for your personal use and whatever. So how do you do that? Pretty simple. You go down to share. The link comes up. You hit copy. Pretty easy. Then you go to one of a zillion websites that are YouTube downloaders. And they will convert for you to MP3. Or you can download the video as is, which I like to do, and then I convert the video to uh, high bit rate, um, high quality MP3 file. So yeah, post the link right here, and yada yada yada, you do the rest. You can do the other option, which I like. You can go to Discogs, one of the finest database websites for locating hard to find music. I have been looking for a long time for David Storr's Invaders from Mars soundtrack which never made it to 
CD but was only on vinyl. So, you look over here, there's four for sale. And you click on it, see if you like the price, see if the condition of the LP sounds good, and you buy it. Bring it home, put it on your turntable if you happen to have one, and upload it into your computer via a audio program. One which I highly recommend for um, downloading uh, music or loading music from your cassette tapes, um, from LPs, I like to use Gold Wave. It is a great program. You can remove noise, get rid of pop clicks, get rid of tape hiss, and if you don't like a song, you can cut it out. So, I mean, it's a great little program. It's like, I don't know, 40, 50, 60 bucks. When I bought it years ago, I paid like $40. Some guy in Newfoundland, Canada, uh, he created it. Really nice guy. Okay. What's another technique for finding hard to find music? There is something called Blogspot Sites. So, let's go to one. I discovered a superb release from Spain called Aurora Clara Transformation. I went to this Blogspot. I went down to the YouTube video listened and thought oh my gosh this is great so they usually have little links uh, cleverly hidden at these blog spots where lo and behold it opens up a download website where you can get the whole release as a compressed file typically with uh, cover scans you name it these uh, RAR files will either have 320 bit rate mp3s or uh, FLAC files you never find WAV files but what did I do after I downloaded and listened to it? I contacted Greg Walker of Symphonic Music and called him up, bought it, shipped to my house for $20. So a blog spot is a website where fans post all kind of music and um, there's just a wealth of stuff now a lot of these blog spots do post music that is available just like Aurora Clara was available but what happened I bought it so these websites do generate sales for the artists because there's just no promo for uh, obscure jazz fusion like this. I highly recommend this release if you're into jazz fusion. Good old Jerry Goodman and the Mahavishnu Orchestra is featured. And the guitarist just blows. He plays so good. It's incredible. So you discover things that you would never have known about unless you had surfed around on these blog spots and it's real easy to find them you just type in jazz fusion blog spot into your google search engine and up comes uh, a lot of different ones 
Uh, this one over here, um, the Jazz Rock Fusion Guitar Blogspot.com, it comes up usually at the top of the list. And, you know, you can find stuff like Jeff Berlin of Bruford uh, and other albums. Here's his 1998 Crossroads release. Um, you download and listen. If you like it, you buy it. Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty simple. It's a pretty straightforward way to do things. Now, on my list, the next thing I mention is discussion forums. Okay, what's that all about? All right, here is a typical discussion forum. This is the new Fusion Zone. Uh, web link is https colon forward slash forward slash fusionboards.net. Well, how did I find Koichi Yabori's Guess Where I Am? I joined the forum and I posted, I am looking for this album and I can't find it anywhere. Within a day, I had three people contact me and say, I have it. You want a copy? And they, they uploaded it. Google Drive, Dropbox, you know, we transfer, you name it. I had the release after probably eight or nine months of trying to find it I went to a discussion forum and found it now this wasn't the only forum I went to I posted in a lot of forums and I got nothing um, another one a great place to find music especially live concerts that have never been released by bands is a place called guitars101.com. I didn't put them on the list, but they have a lot of stuff. I posted there looking for, does anybody have any live music of Bill Connors when he was playing electric guitar in the 80s? I had two people share with me recordings of Bill Connors playing live in the 80s with his trio or quartet or whatever he was playing in. Would have never even known it existed if I hadn't have thought of it and decided to post and ask if anyone knew anything about it and lo and behold people knew about it. So forums are a good place to find music. All right, if you're an avid collector like myself, that's what you do. Now, one other weird ball website that I came across, random search, I came across this place called mp3pm.com. Okay, let's go there. Here it is, mp3pm. I did a search for my own music, imagining it wasn't available anymore. And what do you know? This website has got some of my music posted. I mean, you can... Uh, you can listen to it, or you can download it, whatever you want to do. Um, and again, you can put in artist names or a song, and there you have it. mp3pm.com will have it. This is another way to find rare music. All right, what else is on the list? And I'm going to mention another one I don't have written here. 
Spotify. Okay, a while back I was looking for the solo electric violin release by Ben Mink of FM, the Canadian space rock band. I was looking for his foreign exchange because I had it on vinyl before. I transferred it onto cassette and the cassette sounded like crap. So much I, I didn't even want to uh, mess with it on Goldwave. So I typed his name in and the name of the album and here it is on Spotify. And it sounds absolutely stellar. Now this release is available on Amazon and if you're a uh, Spotify member um, and you couldn't find this release if the if the artist posted this for some reason and it wasn't even available as vinyl or CD or anything but for some reason it made it on Spotify here's another way to find it and I'm gonna leave it up to you creative types to figure out how do you get music on Spotify onto your computer it's possible trust me on that all right the other thing I mentioned at the very end is hit the pavement what am I talking about well folks there are still brick-and-mortar record and CD stores even in your neighborhood it's gonna take a lot of time it's not point and click it's shuffle 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 look 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 check 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 hoping to find the release and you can it takes a lot of patience it takes a lot of footwork but you can find it okay two other places that are not on my list here and I'm sure there's other ways but let's go to another place all right this place is called music stack Dot com and vendors selling music like myself from all over the world post all kind of stuff LPs ticket stubs promo picks of the band CDs cassettes you can you can find it and buy it there I have bought a good many things that were quite rare by going to MusicStat. Okay, what's the other favorite place that people like to go to that I didn't put on my list because I figure people know about it. Good old eBay. And let's imagine Frank Gambale's A Present for the Future is out of print can't find it on Discogs can't find it on a blog spot can't find it on any website you just can't find it well you open up eBay you type in the name of the artist name of the release and ta-da there it is and you buy it eBay is a great place for finding out of print uh, vinyl CDs cassettes um, it is there well I hope I hope this little lesson on how to find rare music has been helpful and I'm gonna go over one more time 
contact the artist directly if they are still alive. Go to YouTube, find it. Download it via a YouTube downloader site. That may be a gray area as far as legality goes. I don't know. But I do it when I find stuff that I know can't be found anywhere else. Then you have the great website Discogs. Rare stuff can be found there. Then there is the gray area blogspot sites. Fans of music posting all about music and many times providing a link to a compressed file of that music. Discussion forums. Go post, ask, does anybody have thus and such? And mp3pm.com. Another site where you can find rare music. And as we discussed, Spotify and uh, hit the pavement. Go to brick and mortar stores and look. And I didn't put on the list, but we went over it. Musicstack.com and we can also go to the trusty and faithful eBay. Now, you'll notice I obviously did not mention Amazon. I sell there and I buy there all the time. But as far as a place for independent sellers to sell their wares, the place is awful. And I, I just don't like the company overall. So you can go to Amazon and you can look for releases, but I guarantee you many times they're going to be listed for a high price. And why is that? Because Amazon takes like a 33% cut of CD sales. So what I do sometimes when I'm at Amazon and I see something I really want, I message and contact the seller direct and say, look, 40 bucks is too much, I will buy it for 20. And a lot of times we haggle, meet in the middle, the guy says 25, you know, whatever, and they reprice it on Amazon and I buy it. I mean, you can do that. One last thing that um, has worked for me, but it's been a long time since I've done it. You can go to yard sales and flea markets and find very rare music if you know what you're looking for. I lucked up on a yard sale not too far from my home of a guy who was a DJ and who had a radio station. Oh my God, he had so much stuff. And I bought a lot for like a buck an LP. And, you know, it is possible to um, find things like that. Well, I hope that um, all of this uh, chit chat and um, different ways of finding hard to find stuff music wise I hope my little how-to video has been helpful if so give me the thumbs up give me a few comments whatever all right this is source codex signing off Happy music hunting.